Hi, and welcome to the story business. Our focus today is to talk about storytelling in business. Storytelling has existed since the dawn of mankind. It's embedded in our psyche. In fact, for centuries, storytelling has been the way that humans have communicated important information to one another. Whether they've done it to teach a skill, to warn of danger, to pass on tradition, or provide entertainment and leisure, the storytelling template really hasn't changed that much since the beginning of civilization. But in recent years, some of the leading business schools in the world have started to pass the word that storytelling is a useful tool in communication as well. And slowly but surely, the business world is hopping on the bandwagon. Still, many are not sure why they're doing it. So just in case, here's a clue. Because it works. Storytelling is an effective vehicle for delivering information especially layered and complex information. In fact, storytelling at heart is a description of change, of a transformation. But unlike other techniques where we describe a process, storytelling involves emotion and intellect simultaneously. Therefore, its power of persuasion is considerably enhanced. So the question then becomes, when can we benefit from storytelling in business or in other professional fields, such as education? The answer is when you're dealing with a general audience that truly needs to understand a process. And this essentially happens in two situations, when you sell something new or when you train others. But let's back up a minute because selling here isn't just selling your products or your services. If you're in business, you're selling something to somebody all the time, your boss, your team, your partners, your clients, your stockholders, and yeah, even your competitors. And yet for decades, business relied on more traditional forms of communication for such situations. So then, what would storytelling add in the 21st century? A lot. We live in an age of communicational clutter. It's not intentional, but as it turns out, most people in business multitask and are working on many different things at any given time. As a result, our ability to focus is considerably reduced. So when information is presented in a format that really offers little in the way of helping us absorb and recall key ideas, we usually don't. On the other hand, if information is presented to us in a way that is engaging and motivating while exponentially enhancing our chances of recalling what it's all about, well, then perhaps we have something of value. And now, finally, the scholars of prestigious business schools such as Harvard and Stanford have taken the notion of business storytelling to the mainstream. Granted, it's taken them a while. And in their arguments, they usually bring up as a key source of supportive evidence the most powerful storytelling medium of our time. Visual storytelling. You know, movies. Yet some are still not convinced. Not a problem. So let's go outside the box for a minute and think this one through. Let's ask ourselves, why would a story work better than a traditional facts and figures approach when we're communicating a process either to sell a new idea or to train people on something new? The reason is that stories, unlike the traditional approach, connect people to their emotions. And when that happens, as neuroscience has demonstrated, the emotional stimulus opens up all our sensory capabilities to the fullest. Heart plus mind plus attention plus recall plus reflection plus action. Nothing new really, just forgotten. But it gets better because stories break down complex processes into simple parts with a natural flow. This means people will leave the room and still remember what we were talking about. The naturals, and there are plenty out there, can pull this off without a hitch. But storytelling is, at its core, a system, a process. So that means that you can, too. And let's face it, in our world of endless noise coming from devices of all sorts, social media, and endless clutter, that's not such a bad deal. In fact, it sort of makes good business sense. Because bottom line, most people will forget facts, figures, charts, and the usual corporate or institutional fluff. They won't forget a good story.